after the first day of SHOT Show at the range, I saw some cool things, but I was wondering if we wouldn't see a lot of announcements this year. Boy, was I wrong, because now we're seeing three new models of bolt-action rifles to rival the Springfield 2020 Waypoint from Bogara. We're also seeing some cool new models of the Browning X-Bolt that fix some of the things that I had wondered about. A new Canic competition pistol that looks awesome. I mean, over a dozen new models. But the coolest thing that I've seen so far today that I'm going to show you isn't actually a rifle at all, it's a new cartridge. All right, everybody, welcome to the Canic booth. What we released a brand new product from Canic over here is the Canic TP9 SFX Rival. It comes with two different colors. You will see a rival gray color like this one. It also comes with a dark side color like this completely dark one. It's basically the improvement of the, of the SFX that we have. We have a redesign of the slide right here. We have some slide cuts as well. We also redesigned the barrel. Also, the profile is a little bit different. The trigger that I mentioned is phenomenal. It changed, it changed the profile a little bit. You can see this is the aluminum trigger. And then the, the take up, it's like this short. See, that's, that's the wall right here. We have a tiny little pre-travel until here. And that is the break. Okay, so let me hold that and show you the reset on this gun. That reset is like this. Boom, that's it. Oh. Well, my name is Aaron Cummins. I'm the senior product manager for Browning over the rifles. We got an exciting new line this year. The speed line, which everyone knows has historically been burnt bronze. We were the first one with the burnt bronze and camo. We've changed the look. We got a new camouflage. Ovix is the camo pattern. And new smoke bronze Cerakote. Uh-oh, someone's excited here. Probably one that uh, people have been really excited about is the Speed SR, where we've taken four inches off the barrel, belled the barrel so it'll accept 5H24, half 28 threads, depending on which caliber. Um, and we got the Predator calibers also in there because a nice compact gun works great as a Predator gun. Yeah, this is the one you emailed me about this one after my last video about the x bolt and you were like, just wait, we got this. <laughs> I like this because it's short and we'll take a 5H24 suppressor and the new camo pattern, I think, is really cool. I didn't, I didn't appreciate the difference in the in the color of Cerco, but it's really cool up close. It's a little bit more earthy. It's, it's a nice like color. A silvery, goldy. I don't know how to describe it. Okay. In addition, in the Speed family, now all the this year, anything that has the name Speed in it is a sporter barrel. So we got the regular Speed, the Speed SR. This is the Speed Long Range, 26 inch barrel. This one's also belled to 5H24. When you shoot long range, you end up with bigger scopes. So we got the adjustable comb with up, uh, up to an inch of vertical adjustment and then fast twist on select calibers. And then probably the biggest introduction this year is the new target gun. Now these are X-bolts, but a lot of work has gone into these to make them different. The receiver has actually been beefed up in, uh, in both bridges, so it's uh, thicker and stiffer. And we have a new trigger. This is the DLX trigger. It's a double lever X that gets shipped at two and a half pounds and is adjustable down to two pounds. When you're setting up your scope, you want everything nice and square. So we, we uh, milled in a flat spot so you can put a level on there. And so you know when things are square, you can set the scope up the way you want it. Chris has announced a new 22P pistol. Pricing to be announced. It looks like it'll be something in a kind of a budget price point. Nothing new in the vector line. Hey guys, Justin with Palmetto State Armor here. We're just going to be talking about the new daggers. And then down here, we're proud to uh, introduce the new 5.7s. You're going to have 23 round capacity. Um, mags are going to be compatible with Ruger, but uh, Ruger mags are not going to be compatible with R5.7. That's going to be available in both the flat top and the threaded barrel with the RMR cut. And then down here, we've just got some more colored daggers. And then we've got the new micro compact with the RMR cut. Nemo is best known for their AR stuff. They're made in Nampa, Idaho, but they have a line of over under shotguns by Nemo that they're importing and they look beautiful. I've been in the market for just a beautiful heirloom piece kind of over under shotgun and this just might be it. You guys, I'm editing this video right now in a little booth in the hallway, and I, I just wanted to kind of cut over some of the talking here about this new cartridge because I don't want to undersell it here. This cartridge is awesome. 
So it's been in development for a couple years, and if you're into this, you maybe have heard about it. It's called 8.6 Blackout. It's made by Q, and uh, the founder there is also the guy that made the, the 300 Blackout. And so they have some history here. Um, but 8.6 Blackout is shooting, you know, it's 33 caliber, so it's shooting at huge bullets, you know, 210 to 300 grains, massive bullets. And they're shooting them decently fast for the caliber. I mean, the supersonic stuff will go between 24 to 2800 feet per second. And they've shown videos of hunting Cape Buffalo with them. I mean, massive animals that they're doing. The, the unique thing here is it's using a one in three twist. When you look at down the barrel, it looks like it's threaded. Um, it's so cool. And by spinning it that fast, what they're claiming, I wanna test this myself, is in ballistics gel, if you take the same bullet fired by something of a traditional one in eight twist or one in 12 or whatever, um, it causes way less damage than the exact same bullet fired out at 8.6 blackout because that fast twist is kind of like creating a blender effect with the bullet in the, in the ballistic gel. Because it spins so fast, you, you have to use coppers or really well bonded bullets, otherwise the bullet literally just spins apart. It looks interesting. I think one of the compelling use cases here is it's viable as a hunting round out to three, four hundred yards, which is all that a lot of people will ever want to use to shoot huge animals and the guns have 10 inch barrels. It's really, really interesting. So Faxon is making the barrels and Gorilla is making ammunition. Six Blackout, the parent cartridge, interestingly, is actually the 6.5 Creedmoor. And so a lot of people already have brass. And so I think this one could really take off. So here you have it in an AR platform. Yep, so that's an eight, that's an eight inch AR. And then this is a 12 inch Remington 700. Man, that'd be just so fun to hunt with. I love that. Oh, it's a ton of fun. Lightweight, you can carry it around and still get solid performance. You're getting more energy on target out of a 12 inch 8.6 than a 16 inch 308. All right, hi, my name's Jacob, I'm with Taurus, and I'm here to talk about some new products here at 2022 SHOT Show. This year we brought out was the TX-22 Competition SCR Steel Challenge Ready Pistol. A lot of people know about the TX-22 and the TX-22 Competition this year. We've expanded upon that line with this model. It comes standard with the Tandem Cross Compensator. It's threaded on there. And it also has a polished feed ramp. I don't know if we can see that in the light. And then also a tandem cross uh, extractor. So basically, out of the box, target ready. Does a great job of the balancing with the weight, the compensator. It's a 22 long rifle, 16 round mags. Uh, it has the adapter plate still, just like our TX-22 competition. And I've got to add on that, we did our review of the best 822LR handguns. And that Taurus TX-22 won that, so I'm excited to see this new version of it. Brand new pistol that we introduced here at the, the show as well. It's called the Taurus G3X. So, if we're talking about filling the gap with all the Taurus handguns, the G3X falls in line just above the G3C and below the G3 full size. What we've basically done was take the three and a half or 3.2 inch barrel here uh, with the compact slide, so forth, but gave it a fuller size, uh, fuller size grip. So 15, 15 rounds, really good in the hand. Comes with two mags, nine millimeter, everything you know about the G series, same thing, all basically done. Was kept the compact slide, give it a little bit fuller of a grip. Uh, if we want to extend down into the revolver side, what we have is uh, a Taurus 327 that's also new for this year. So a Federal 327 revolver, basically concealed carry. Um, 327, it's pretty light, less snappy. Uh, it's really nice to be able to control the rounds. So short, little stub nose, easy for concealed carry. That's gonna be available uh, now, actually. Hi, I'm JD Ponciano with Carl's Ice Sports Optic. We're here at the 2022 SHOT Show, and this is the brand new LRP S5. Um, we have two models. Um, 
actually four models in two different magnifications. So we have the 3 to 18 by 50 and the 5 to 25 by 56. Shared attributes, they both have 34 millimeter main tube. Um, in the MOA version, you have 140 minutes of travel. In the mill version, you have 40.7 mils. Been really popular, the reticle over here, that shadow might make it a little tough, but this is a shot of the mill, that's the MOA. Um, and again, 3 to 18 by 50 and 5 to 25 by 56. So this is the this is kind of the new top tier rifle that we've got right here. This is the MG Light. So we went with the mag. I'm smiling. <laughs> this is such a cool gun. <laughs> yeah. So full full magnesium stock on here. Um, the the key to everything that we're getting ready to talk about these two specifically is we spent a couple years developing our own carbon fiber barrel on these. So what we're calling this is our Cure Carbon Fiber. Typical carbon fiber, you have some sort of weave that's wrapping around and essentially insulating that inner barrel. So what we did is we tried to develop a cure for it, which is where the name came from. And what we did is we did a mesh that's a stainless steel mesh within that, that carbon wrap so that now we're taking that heat and we're drawing it all the way out instead of just insulating it in here. This is something that needs to be standard now on guns Absolutely. having an ARCA rail. There. Absolutely. And then if you go on a sheep hunt, elk hunt, anything where you're going way up there in the mountains, why not fold the, the gun in half, throw it in your pack and get up the hill. So next one down the line, right here, you're looking at the divide. So full carbon stock, AG composite stock. Again, you have the cure carbon barrel, same same that we're talking about on the MG Light. Both of these guns right here, actually all three that we're gonna talk about are in the mid six pound range. So depending on the caliber that you end up running with. So, but now you got more of a precision, traditional stock hybrid there on a carbon rifle. It's, I mean, and it's you're amazing. you're saving a few hundred dollars as well. Yep, so now this one going from right about 3,000, you're gonna be right around 2,500 on this guy. And then the mountain gun. This, this is the divide, or this is the canyon, sorry. Now basically, have you done anything with the Mountain 2.0 that came out a year or so I'm ago? I'm familiar to it with it, I haven't shot one. So what that was, is that was carbon barrel, or sorry, carbon stock, stainless barrel, not fluted and not, not uh, ported. Mm -hmm. This one here, the Highlander, was their only other rifle that we had that was fluted, mm -hmm. and it, was, it had the brake on it. So what this one is, the canyon basically was a hybrid between those two models that we have. So now you have the Mountain 2.0 essentially, but you have a larger contour barrel with that thing being fluted and you've got a brake on it. So if you go into that 300 Win Mag or something, you're not gonna be, you're not gonna be hurting too bad. It was a couple years in the making on the barrel part alone. So we're stoked to get that out there and, and start shooting it. Hey everybody, Brandon Bear here with Rockman. I just want to show you real fast this new innovative pack system that's on the market, all right? What we've done is we've taken right here a core flex piece. It's our core flex shoulder straps. It's made out of carbon fiber. Bends, moves with you. A matter of seconds, you can take and adjust this core flex to fit most torso heights, okay? Once you've taken and custom fitted this core flex, and you can actually build the system that you want. Mike here with Gorilla Ammunition. We are featuring uh, upcoming product launches for some of our firearms and ammunition, specifically focused on 8.6 Blackout. Uh, working with others in the industry to help launch this new caliber to include Q, Faxon. Um, we're going to offer it three different or two different types of weapons platforms, our AR-10s and also this miniature bolt action. I'm at the Daniel Defense booth. They have a couple updates to some of their AR stuff, but the part that I was most interested in is this new chassis. Uh, well, this is the same chassis that has been on the Delta 5 Pro but now it's available in a Remington 700, right now just in short action. It's a sweet chassis, and I think this one will be a new competitor in the competition space. A couple unique things about it, it has an Arca rail here, like almost all competition chassis do now, but this has the kind of scallop cuts there. It's an Area 419 patent. Um, I don't know if I love it, honestly, because on the really right stuff, that just means there's less bearing surface. But you have, if you have one that's compatible, it kind of grabs in those grooves to be extra stable. Has a nice barricade stop separate from the magazine so we don't bind up there. Overall, it's a really cool chassis. Hey, welcome to SHOT Show 2022 at Christensen Arms. We're here to introduce our modern hunting rifle, our MHR. It's gonna involve a chassis like this, 
and then a, some modular additions, butt stocks, four ends. We're even going to now allow a couple of options as far as pistol grips go. It's going to be very, very easily converted from a hinge floor plate to a box magazine. It'll take about two minutes to do that conversion. So the, the intended purpose of the rifle, you can custom tailor this rifle to your intended purpose. Christensen also has these new versions of the Mesa and Ridgeline with this updated carbon fiber weave that they're claiming can drop the weight a full pound. That's day two of SHOT Show. I still have about 40% of the booths that I haven't even been to, plus going over to the SCI convention, so more to come.